Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Kaylin Cockerell. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time to bring you the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of January 9th through the 15th. Well, it's that time of year again. The City of Bloomington's annual Winterfest celebration is right around the corner. Join City Parks and Recreation staff along with area sponsors for the 10th annual Winter Fet Extravaganza. This year activities will take place from Saturday, January 19th through Sunday the 27th. To find a schedule of this year's events, visit the city's website and keyword search Winter Fet. The celebration kicks off with some Minnesota Hockey Day events. Later in the week, the Ski Jump Competition, Broomball Tournament, the Pond Dakota History Festival, and so much more. Many Winter Fet activities are free unless otherwise noted on the city's website. And now that the holidays are over, it may be time to get rid of some old holiday lights. Bloomington Civic Plaza is a drop-off site for the Recycling Association of Minnesota's Recycle Your Holiday program. This campaign encourages residents to drop off their holiday lights and electrical cords at various locations around the metro to be recycled. Holiday lights and cords are full of recyclable materials, including glass, copper, and plastic. Look for the green bins in each of Civic Plaza's two main lobby areas. These bins will be at Civic Plaza until January 31st, and holiday lights and decor are accepted for recycling year-round at the South Hennepin Recycling and Problem Waste Drop-Off Center, located at 1400 West 96th Street in Bloomington. Construction season is on hold until the spring, and recently a MnDOT representative gave city officials an update on the 494 improvement project, which began in the summer of 2012. The Xerxes Avenue Bridge reconstruction is on schedule, with the completion of the center pier and placement of the beams, deck and railings expected to wrap up, and it'll be open to motorists by May. The construction of the median from 12th Avenue to Highway 100 is also being finalized once the new construction season is underway. Finally, in the summer and fall of this year, I-494 will be completely resurfaced over the course of four weekend closures. MnDOT believes this project will improve traffic flow, reduce maintenance needs, and allow future development goals to be met. Things seem to be moving along nicely, and we're excited to see what the 2013 construction season holds for the corridor. Doing laundry is most likely part of your daily routine, but don't overlook the importance of good clothes dryer maintenance in order to prevent a fire in your home. According to the National Fire Prevention Association, the leading cause of home clothes dryer fires is failure to clean them. Lint builds up around the drum and inside the lint trap. This should be cleaned out and removed before and after each load of laundry. Keep the dryer area clear of boxes or other things that can burn. Check the outdoor vent flap to make sure it isn't covered with snow or blocked by any other object. Finally, be sure not to run the dryer if you leave home or when you go to bed. City Fire Marshal Jean Dugall told us that it's not a bad idea to have your dryer inspected by a professional once a year to ensure everything is in proper working order. And that's the buzz on Bloomington today for the week of January 9th through the 15th. Thanks for joining us.